Hello, long time no see. <laughs> Welcome back to the garden. It is November 19th, five degrees Celsius outside, getting down to minus one. Fall is in full effect. The garden is shut down and that's why you haven't had very many updates from me because there's not a whole lot happening. My dog has been digging to China in a couple places. So some things have gotten moved here to hopefully deter her. I've also decided to keep the dead sticks from the cosmos that were there for some bugs to overwinter. I'll get rid of them in the spring, whatever. Whew, I'm chilly. Uh, these were just over here. They're just here so the dog won't dig. But there's nothing in this garden right now. I want to dig out some of the soil and amend it. I was going to do that this fall, but I don't know if I'm going to get to it. This is pretty much shut down. The pond is still the pond. Um, it's getting low on water and I'm not really filling it up. There's some leaves in there. It's kind of dirty. The umbrella palm, seen better days. Although this, um, oh my goodness, I cannot think of the name right now. It's doing really, really well. It's a cold weather crop, so I'm not surprised. The garlic that we planted in these two beds, it's all garlic. Um, they're already popping up, which I know some people would be like, oh no, my garlic is up. Here you can see. But it's fine. That just means they're establishing their roots before the real cold comes. So they'll be okay and they'll still grow. The apple tree has lost its leaves. Um, yeah, everything is gone. Basically, some of the borage is still trying its hardest. And the succulents, they'll be fine. They'll come back next spring fig trees all shut down and the few marigolds that I have left uh, they have also died because we've had a frost or two not too many just one or two <laughs> the pumpkin that was here is gone the beans are gone now nothing uh nothing too crazy here going on Carrots are still doing okay. You can kind of see them. I'm just going to hopefully uh, overwinter them here and they'll catch up in the spring. They'll just like start growing again because they can possibly survive, survive a frost. We'll see. These are just the oregano and the thyme and tomatoes all gone. Everything's gone. Uh, this guy needs to get torn down for the season. Ooh, I am so chilly. And then my husband's chestnuts, oh, they're not chestnuts, black walnuts, pardon me. They're, uh, nothing's really happening. The squirrels have picked through these. And a few of our other trees are doing okay. Now, the since, uh, oh, I should point out these. These are like some sort of like mini snapdragons. I would love to know what kind they are, if anybody knows. But they seem to have picked up in growth and uh, really been enjoying this cooler weather. Like, they're totally fine, which is awesome to have flowers mid-November. What the heck? Okay. Quickly pop into the greenhouse, which will take the chill off. I can feel it right away. Turn the radio down. Whoop. Okay. So coming in here, we just have a few, like, experiments this needs to be cut back and thrown away and dealt with. Same with this guy over here. The pepper, it is just too cold. You can see he's gotten droopy. This guy is inside for the season. I have an aloe out here that I just didn't want to take back into the house. And he seems to be okay, even though it's been cold. Right? November 19th. Kale here, doing all right. The compost is absolutely giving off some heat, which is cool. Nothing in this side, I don't think I've been using it. Lots growing in here. The radish are doing amazingly. Same with the bok choy. The cold season crops are 
the performers this time of year, especially in a greenhouse like this. This is an unheated greenhouse, although I have heated it in the past. Um, I did plant a few garlics in here and those guys are also starting to sprout a little bit. And then the tower is doing so well. Look at how beautiful these bok choys are. I am so excited to eat these. And then on top are more black radishes. So the tower is a few weeks ahead of the beds. There's, there's a squirrel. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so obviously the tower is uh, superior, doing great. Especially right now, very impressed. All right, we'll quickly pop back out here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, can I do it? Can I? <laughs> so, um, one second. Let me put you down. There we go. Sorry. Very bad camera work on my part. There's a bunch of squirrels living their best lives back here. Everything um, is dead. <laughs> it's fall what do you expect the birdhouse is still up which is great I was kind of thinking that that whole thing would fall over but it's going good the guys um who cut the trees were like this one's a little wonky when we started cutting it so I was like I don't know if we should put the birdhouse there but it's there and it's fine let's see what is happening here of course the only thing green in this pile is the kale and the mint. <laughs> uh, the mint will always prevail. The composter is being a composter. These ones will be back in the spring. Snapdragons are still green over there. Some of the trees we planted back here are looking pretty rough. But again, that time of year. The alocasia over here just got wrecked by the cold weather. <laughs> wrecked but um i'm not touching anything back here i'm just gonna leave this and deal with it in the spring that is a mum that my mum bought me and apparently you can plant them in the ground and it'll come back in the spring so we'll see how that does Whew. and that is pretty much your tour oh 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 uh the rain barrel is full we always got to give that guy a kick. Yeah, I'm wearing socks and sandals. Don't judge me. Uh, these guys, I got some seedling heating mats. I want to test this in here, see if I can grow like that stuff and just like sprout it in December and have it grow and thrive in here by just using the seedling heating mat and not the ambient temperature. Like I don't want to have to raise the temperature of the air. If I could just raise the temperature of the dirt I may be able to grow things in pots in these little greenhouses within a greenhouse. Because these do hold more heat um, than just in here. So this is like one or two temp one or two temperatures, one or two degrees warmer than outside. And this would be like five or six degrees when I'm properly using them. With the seedling mat, I don't know. We'll see. I'm always doing some sort of garden experiment. keeps out the riffraff and by riffraff I mean the squirrels all right so that's pretty much it I don't know when I'll be doing a backyard garden tour again because not a whole lot is going to be changing back here throughout the fall and winter maybe I'll show you when we get a big snow or something like that but that's your video that's your update Hopefully we'll be back soon with something exciting to show you. In the meantime, take care and uh, we'll see you when we see you. <laughs> okay, bye.